Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be solving the equation 4 minus 3x, the absolute value of this, is equal to x. So the absolute value of 4 minus 3x is equal to x. So how am I going to solve this? Well, first off, we have to know that x is our only variable in this equation, and that's the variable we're solving, we're solving for. And now, for my solution, for absolute value equations, we actually have to do use a special rule. And that's to break this equation down into two different parts. So the first equation that I'm going to get from this is 4 minus 3x is equal to x. And the second equation that I'm, I'm going to get for this is 4 minus 3x is equal to negative x. Because remember, the absolute value of a function is the distance from 0 to that number. And this means that the absolute value of any number is always going to be positive. However, you can take the absolute value of a negative number and make it equal positive. So we also have to account for that negative number. So now we have two equations from this. So 4 minus 3x equals x. Let's go ahead and solve this one first. So to solve this, I'm going to add 3x on both sides. So I get 4 is equal to 4x. And now if I divide both sides by 4, these two cancel out, and I get 1 is equal to x. So x is equal to 1. This is my first solution. And now we also have to solve this equation. So I can add 3x on both sides, and I get 4 is equal to 2x. And now if I divide both sides by 2, I get x is equal to 4 divided by 2, which is 2. Now, an important step for solving the absolute value equation is checking to see if our solutions are right. So I have the absolute value of 4 minus 3x is equal to x. Now, let's try x equals 1 first. So if x equals 1, I get 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. 4 minus 3 is 1. The absolute value of 1 is 1. So I get 1 equals 1. And now if x equals 2, I get 4 minus 3x. The absolute value of this is equal to 2. x is 2, so I get 4 minus 3 times 2, which is 6, is equal to 2. And now I get an absolute value of negative 2 is equal to 2. And the absolute value of negative 2 is 2. So I get 2 is equal to 2.